Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to do another problem on probability, but this time we're going to use the binomial distribution equation. So for more videos covering engineering problems or FE exam questions, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos every week. Now let's get started. I will be uploading more problems on probability. However, if you are struggling on this topic, make sure to check out my course. I actually cover a lot of problems on probability and they're really going to help you with your FE exam. Oh yeah, you toss a coin six times and we want to find what is the probability of getting exactly two heads. So whenever you guys get a problem like this, when the question asks, what is the probability of getting exactly this number? Or what is the probability of success? And in this case, the success of getting exactly two heads, we use the equation binomial distribution, which is on page 43. So this is the equation we're going to use. Note guys that P is the probability of success. Q is the probability of failure, which just equals to one minus P. So let's write the equation down and determine each variable and plug it into the equation. So N here is going to be six because that's the number of trials. We're tossing this coin six times, so it's going to be six. Now X is going to be two because we're trying to get the probability of getting exactly two heads. And so X is going to be two. So to find P, when we are using this equation, what we need to do first is find the probability of getting one head. And then usually the exponent takes care of how many times we want to get that one head. So here the probability of getting one head is just going to be one over two, right? Half. Because coin has two sides. So total of possibilities we have is two because we can either get head or we can get tail. And then we only have one head in that coin, so it's going to be one out of two, which is 50%, right? Probability of getting one head is going to be 50-50 chance. Either you're going to get head or you're going to get tail. Now, to find Q, we said earlier Q is the probability of failure, which is just one minus the probability of head. So the, the Q of one head or the probability of failure of getting one head is just going to be one minus half, which is half, right? Now, when we're going to plug in these numbers in here, the exponent will take care of how many times we want to get head. So for this problem, we want to get head twice. So that's why X here is going to be two. And then for Q, we're going to do six minus two because if we get two heads, right? And we're tossing this six times, the other four times, it's going to be tail. That's the probability of failing of getting two heads, right? And so, yeah, so just remember when you're using this equation, when you're trying to find the probability, you find it for just one case. And then usually the exponents take care of how many times you want to get that one head, right? Now, if you guys plug in these numbers, you're going to get about 0.23. Note, guys, that this you can just plug it into your calculator. You should have factor in your calculator. It's really easy to do. And yeah, so the answer is going to be A. If you are currently studying and preparing for your FE exam and you just want some sort of like steps on how to study for this test or what material to use, or you just want some extra problems, make sure to sign up on my website. Now, if you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.